all set, we're ready to go, so let's get the car out onto the track. slap. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now.
qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves once again of our top three, Surfer Girl, Russell and Max Verstappen. With qualifying complete, all that remains now is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Forget pit stops, forget fuel management. It's pedal to the metal all the way here as we get ready for today's sprint. through the driver grid order for today's exciting sprint. Surfer Girl lines up on pole position, just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Perez, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Norris, Hamilton, Gasly, Ocon, Leclerc, Mayer, Liam Lawson, Stroll, Bottas, Albon, Joe, Sonoda, Magnussen, Sargent, Holkenberg, and Nick de Vries. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We'll soon find out. The formation lap is underway, ahead of today's sprint. As all the cars take their positions on the grid, the final preparations have been made, and all that's left is for the drivers to deliver on track. Good speed into the straight, following them. The bar has been known to be absent from the F1 calendar on a number of occasions throughout the year. The bar has been dropped up to many of the nights in the past year. The bar has been dropped up to many of the nights in the past year. The bar has been dropped up to many of the nights in the past year. The bar has been dropped up to many of the nights in the past year. The bar has been dropped up to many of the nights in the past year. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. So we're leading our teammate by 6.0 seconds. They're all fresh softs. They're currently 16.
Nice work, mate. That brings you up a place. They're in 10th place. OK, so the gap is 4.4 seconds. Your last lap time was a 1 minute 54.5. OK, so we're leading our teammate by 8.6 seconds. They're on fresh softs. They're currently 16th. Time last lap was a Charge is high, let's use that overtake button a bit more. DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. OK, so we're leading our teammate by 11.4 seconds. They're on fresh softs. They're in 15th. And the time last lap was a 1 minute 50.5. to worry about the tyre condition for now, everything's looking good. OK, so we're leading our teammate by 13.4 seconds. They're on fresh softs. Your last lap time was a 149.5.
go, final lap. about this one at the start of the weekend but man you pulled through thank you well done After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Max Verstappen's excellent result today sees him take over as the new leader of the driver's championship. Well, that wraps up the sprint. All that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Welcome to this visit to the Ardennes countryside. Spa-Francorchamps hosted its first Grand Prix back in 1925, and this historic track is loved by drivers and fans alike, and us here in the commentary box too. So it's a warm welcome from the Belgian Grand Prix. Spa-Francorchamps then, a historic 19-corner circuit with a lap distance of 4.35 miles. There's over 100 meters of elevation change here, and with long stretches of the lap spent flat out, a good top speed will be vital for success. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Surfer Girl lines up on pole position, and starting next to them is George Russell. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Norris, Hamilton, Verstappen, Leclerc, Gasly, Ocon, Liam Lawson, Stroll, Mayer, Bottas, Joe, Albon, Sonoda, Magnussen, Sargent, De Vries, and Nico Hülkenberg rounds off the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat is Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching out for as they head into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start, and this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space, and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents.
formation lap gets underway and every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead, making sure that their car is ready for the battle once the lights go out. So as all the cars reform the grid, the drivers will be hoping to get a strong start. They'll want to earn some valuable points from today's race, with final communications being done with their race engineers, ensuring the planned strategies are all in place. reducing our overall capacity. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 4.2 seconds. They're on fresh softs. They're in 15th. Nice move, keep going. Green flag. Okay, there's been an in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are so far no plans for a second. A good chance to change our strategy for the rest of the Grand Prix if we want to. Okay. In just a moment, stand by. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 18.1 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. They're in 15th.
lot of spare energy, OK to use your overtake button. Norris just ahead, push for the position, they're on fresh mediums. Okay, fuel levels now at 19 laps, 19 laps. teammate by 9.1 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. They're in 15th. Time last lap was a 1 minute 56.3. As things stand, we're going to be leading the championship. DRS has been enabled. DRS is now enabled. He might make a mistake. As things stand, we'll be third in the championship. Okay, gap ahead is 2.5 seconds.
car in front is 4.1 seconds. OK, so we're leading our teammate by 7.2 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. They're in 12th. And the time last lap was a 149.0. Verstappen's behind. We're leaving the car behind by 1.2 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. OK, they've got four laps on their tyres. The last lap time was a 1 minute 48.8. Perez ahead. They're on fresh mediums. OK, they've got four laps on their tyres. Time last lap was a 1.49.0. We're gaining by around two tenths per lap. Keep going. Five seconds will be added to their time at the end of the race. and will be second in the championship. Leclerc is behind you and the gap behind us is 1.6 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are five laps old and the time last lap was a 1 minute 48.9. Five seconds will be added to their time at the end of the race. strategy available on the MFD. OK, the safety car is out. Safety car is out. We need to form up at reduced pace. Keep a close eye on that delta time. Make sure to keep it positive. OK, watch your pace. We've been informed the safety car is out. There appears to have been an issue with multiple stopped vehicles on the track. Copy. Leclerc ahead. They're on old mediums. The last lap time was a 1.48.9. Five seconds will be added to their time at the end of the race. OK, Bottas behind. OK, the gap behind is 0.8 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are six laps old. Time last lap was a 1 minute 54.6.
Right, let's go, come on. That was a fantastic stop, faster than we were expecting. Okay, let's get ready to go racing again. The safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember there's no overtaking until the timing line. Safety car in this lap. All right, we're last of the running cars right now. We're currently trailing our teammate by 6.1 seconds. They're on old mediums. They're in ninth place. And the time last lap was a 2.27.9. Okay, clear. your overtake button more, it's time to utilise some of this energy, come on. Good work, great pass. Okay, gaps in the car ahead is 2.8 seconds. Leclerc is ahead of you. Okay, here's the gap that we're trailing the car ahead by. 2.8 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are nine laps old. Your last lap time was a 1.49.3. Five seconds will be added to their time at the end of the race. I've got information on Lawson. They've got an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. Okay, Callie's ahead of you now. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 1.9 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are nine laps old. Time last lap was a 1 minute 49.0. Caution, caution. Flag. Okay, the stewards have now enabled DRS. DRS is now online.
Nelson is just ahead. Come on, let's push. Okay, the gap is less than a second. They're on old mediums. Okay, they've done 10 laps on those tyres. They've got some kind of mechanical problem. The last lap time was a 1 minute 50.9. Okay, this is your final lap, final lap of the race. As things stand, we're going to be leading the championship. at times but they've held on to take a great victory for McLaren today. Tell me Ant, how do they manage to achieve this win? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations and it's going to be McLaren picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for that fantastic performance. Let's take a look at the driver's standings. Surfer Girl takes over the lead of the Drivers' Championship. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? It's got to be Lando Norris, hasn't it? Smooth, confident and assured. I've got no doubt that he and his team are going to be over the moon with his performance today. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. The owner driver's team moved to the top of the table. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improved their position in the championship. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.